Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech so the flood of android 12 based roms for the oneplus 6 and 60 has been started and we got one more fabulous custom rom called as nameless os the custom rom which meant only for the oneplus devices as the rom meant for only oneplus devices we will get the amazing software optimizations that we never seen in other roms this is the first build of nameless created by the another awesome developer Edurado for the OnePlus 6 while the OnePlus 60 builds are maintained by the Optimus Prime. Today in this video we will see the quick flashing process of Nameless, what's working, features, performance and finally I given the bugs in the ROM with my final verdict. But there is one sad news before the release of this video I got about this amazing ROM which I will tell you at the end of the video. To know that please watch the video till the end. Now without further ado let's get started. I was using the Havoc OS from the last few days so to flash the nameless we need to download the full update package place it in the storage. If you are coming from the Oxynos 11 or the 10 then watch the iCard video for the complete flashing process. We need the TWRP to flash this build so keep the latest TWRP version on your device. Now power up the phone, long press the volume down plus power, phone will boot to the TWRP, now flash the ROM zip file. Then tap on the advanced, then tap flash current TWRP. It's the optional process, if you don't want the TWRP then skip this step. Then reboot back to the TWRP, then tap wipe and do the format data. If you guess the error in the formatting, go to the TWRP setting, there check mark the RMRF setting, then reboot back to the TWRP again and now do the format data once more. Then tap reboot to the system. So overall this ROM has the base of the pure Google Pixel ROM so we get the same pixel boot animation with the same pixel experience setup. After complete setup we booted to the stock pixel launcher with the new red color named as stock wallpaper which looks cool. Let's jump to the about phone to check the new details about the ROM. Now about the ROM section shows clearly that this is the Android 12 L as the Android version and surprisingly it scores the new Easter egg of Android 12 L. I think this was the only implemented by the latest Siberia OS version and this ROM now. Security patch is updated to the latest July 2022. Only Havoc OS, Awaken OS and the Nameless having the latest security patches of the July 2022. This ROM comes with the Apocalypse kernel version 4.9.227, builded with the Google client toolchain 12.0.7. Kernel is enforcing, this ROM is maintained by the developer Edurado. This nameless AOSP build is created on the 10th of the July 2022. As this is the initial build of the nameless, so I tested all the basic things like the Wafa, Wafa hotspot, GPS, NFC, auto brightness, Bluetooth, alert slider, all are just working perfect. Incoming and outgoing HD calls works without any call volume issues. Even the WhatsApp, Telegram, IMS callings has no issues. ROM comes with the call recording, which is working good. I tested all the sensor and all are working except the barometer which is not present in our device. Fingerprint works without the issue, ROM is passing the safety net so you can use any security related application on this ROM. But wide one security is on L3 so you can't stream the Netflix Amazon Prime videos with the HD resolution. ROM has the unlimited photo backup working. ROM is data encrypted so no worry if your device got stolen. Now we will take the tour of customization that this ROM offers. As this ROM is based on the Android 12 L, we get the, all the features of Android 12 L like the quick switch for the last 5 wallpapers by long pressing on the home screen. ROM has the style and wallpaper application which has all the pixel wallpapers along with the theme icon setting. In this recent panel we get the quick share tab for the wavelengths and the pictures. Double line clock setting is available under the settings display and the lock screen. All the basic customization of ROM are available in the display setting of the ROM. Here I will discuss only the major and the unique features of the ROM. ROM has the new carrier label setting with its position. ROM didn't come with the live display setting but it has the color setting which has the natural, boosted, saturated and adaptive color options. We can also change the red, green and the blue color balance setting also. ROM has the pocket mode toggle which helps to block the screen and the hardware buttons too. 
when the device is in the pocket. ROM comes with the network speed indicator setting which has some tunables like the display mode, auto hide, threshold and the refresh rate intervals. ROM has the new notification e-ticker with the color background to replace the old heads up notification style in the ROM. This customization only available in the Siberia, Evolution X and now in the nameless. Status bar notification icons can be themed to the colored notification icons. ROM has the new notification ticker which shows the expanded notification directly in the status bar. But for the notcher display devices it's not properly visible except these old basic customizations like the clock and the date setting options are implemented in the ROM. Double tap to wake and sleep on the lock screen is available and it's working very good and the fast. ROM has the monet theming which helps to apply the pure black theme to overall system. Custom color setting helps to change the monet color to any desired color instead of the wallpaper based color theming. White luminance, chroma factor, linear lightness all are giving the enhanced look to the stock monet theming. ROM has the bunch of the headline and the body fonts who can also guess the new and the unique icon packs here. ROM has the bunch of the icon shapes to applicable to all our drawer application icons. ROM has the status bar icon packs too, but you can add the separate icons also to customize your status bar Wi-Fi or the network signal icons. OnePlus setting is available in the ROM, which has the different options like the mute media volume toggle, automatic high brightness with the lust control slider, manual high brightness toggle, or all these settings gives the very high brightness to the screen which helps to screen clearly visible in the direct sunlight. FPS overlay and the vibrator system strength sliders are another add-ons. Only the touch screen gesture seems buggy which has the blank setting with the only haptic toggle option. Instead of these all customizations, ROM has the other pixel customizations available in the system and the gesture setting. Like quickly open the camera, system navigations, one-handed mode, press and hold power button to access the Google Assistant, Playback control using the volume keys, advanced restart, etc. All these settings seem working fine. ROM has the OT update setting. Here you can download the update and flash it manually or automatically. ROM has the Android 12L quick switch toggle implemented in the volume panel along with the per app volume control setting. So here comes the new advanced game space app which is available in the app drawer similar to the Oxonos game space. Here all the advanced options are available to make your gaming experience more joyful without any external interference. I will not discuss all these options here but one setting that I found unique in the game notification has the new Denmark notification option which as seen in the old update of CyberOS later it was removed. Here I added one app SoundCloud in the game space to check the game space overlay later in the upcoming days I will test these settings with the real life gameplays for the PJMI. This overlay has the game modes like the performance standard and the battery options with the FPS overlay and the disable gesture settings. Now it comes to the camera application. ROM has the simple camera application so I installed the Gcam MGC stable build. Like all the custom ROM Gcam build is the working good. It's taking the great pics and the videos. All the features like the night side portrait modes for the front and the back camera working good. In the video time lapse working but the slow motion is not working. Panorama and the Photosphere modes are working. In the video recording, 60fps recording only working for the 180p resolution while it's not working for the 4K. So this is all about the customizations and the stability of the ROM. I want to tell you one thing that instead of the heavy customizations, ROM is still super smooth. I didn't feel such smoothness on the Siberia, Evolution X, Awaken or the Havoc OS. So I confuse it is the placebo effect or not. To check that I ran the Geekbench test. After a long time, I got the score of 505 for the single core and for multi-core I got the score of 2169. I remember such results I got last time for the Awakenos on the old builds. For the OpenGL drivers I got the score of 2253 while for the Vulcan graphics I got the score of 1837. So overall in the real life and through the numerical results this ROM amazed me. Let's see in the upcoming days how the ROM will perform for the battery life. I will release the separate video with the battery comparison between the all of these top 4 ROMs. Now let's see what are the bugs. I didn't found any of the bugs instead of OK Google Voice activation for the Google Assistant. It's still not working for me but one thing I noticed that even we keep the toggle on for the OK Google. Videos are working without the lags and the no volume button force close I found here like the old ROMs. Let's see what is the bad news. Yesterday Optimus Prime shared a news that someone leaked the sources of nameless OS. And now developer will not release any of the build for this OS. 
This is very shocking that such an amazing rom got a bad end. But always remember where there is a hope there is a life. So I think soon they will revise the post and we'll get the good news back. So this is all about the new rom. Hope you like my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.